YouTube, it's me again, it's Jolanda, and I'm coming to you with another Avon haul. As usual, um, I did a little bit of a preview of what I might purchase in my uh, What's Up With Avon Wednesday video last Wednesday and this Wednesday here. The box has arrived, I ripped the label off of the top. If you're a representative, you know Rep, Rep Fest is 2016 is coming up. Are you going? I'm not sure if I'm going to go or not. I'd really like to go, but I have so many things um, in my budget right now that I'm not sure. They're really making it quite attractive for folks coming from um, California because they are getting buses for us. So you can actually just get a bus and... Um, I think it's like $60 round trip to Vegas. So if, you don't, if you're not an Avon representative, you, you probably don't know, but the, this year the Avon uh, Representative Fest um, where you learn and you network and you meet people is in Las Vegas, Nevada. And they're also inviting representatives to bring people who aren't representatives so they can get a more understanding of what it means to be an Avon representative and just all that kind of cool stuff. I really would love to go, so I'm trying to see if I can make it happen. The other thing is, is that I started a new job, and you know, talk, taking time off and things like that can be difficult. Um, but I really would like to go. So I think it's August. If it's July, I'm cert I'm absolutely not going to be able to go. So I need to look. Oh, there's a little hummingbird outside my window. Sorry, I got distracted. Oh, there it is again. They're so beautiful. The way they move around, the hummingbirds, is just so amazing. So anyhow, my, my box is here, and um, I haven't even opened. I usually will open it and pull out the things that I've ordered. I haven't even opened it yet. So you guys get to see things as I'm pulling them out. That's going to be the new Mark Magalog. I'll be sure and feature that. This is campaign 16 coming up. There's going to be a huge, huge sale. We're getting ready to go into campaign 15. This is the what's new um Magalog, so this will show a preview of what campaign 18 is going to look like. That's going to be a pretty cover, and then it'll show us kind of some of the products that are coming um, coming soon from Avon and give us a, an opportunity to preview it before it comes out. One of my uh, customers ordered those purple lace up um, sandals. I'm not going to pull them out because that's not my order, and I want her to open them herself. Um, another one of my customers op um, ordered the Vital um, skin products, skincare products, and of course, I'm not going to open those either. You guys know what that, those look like. Um, just pulling all of my stuff out, and then I will show you what I purchased. Now, one of my customers also ordered a bunch of... Um, She ordered a bunch of the True Color lip balms, and I ordered one, so I don't want to get mine mixed up with hers. And I think that's everything in that box that's mine. And then I also wanted to um, show you guys some things that I ordered from 31. Are you familiar with 31? That's these guys. They're like this organization company. So stay tuned till the end of the video, and I'll show you what I ordered from 31. Um, so where should I start? So I'll just start off, I didn't order much. I'll just start off by saying that I did not order much at all from Avon this, um, this week because I'm, I stay on a budget and I on, only order what I absolutely need at the time. And, um, I don't just buy stuff just because it's on sale. I buy stuff that I need and that I know I'm going to use. And if it's a product staple that I always like to have, on hand then and it's on sale that I may stock up on one or two but I don't feel like I need to have a complete stockpile for emergencies in my house I don't have the storage for it it's not necessary it's overtakes me and I don't like to have a lot of stuff um, period so you know I'm not gonna Anyway, why am I going, why am I ranting like this? I don't know. So um, one of the things I did buy is uh, the gel finish. Um, I had this polish color in the um, Nailwear Pro line and um, 
I really loved it, but so did one of my girlfriends. And so she told me how much she liked it and I just gave her my, um, my polish. So then I have been without it since like January and I've wanted to wear this color. And so now I can wear it again. So I will paint my nails this color tomorrow. I'm sorry, and the color is called Lavender Sky. And this is a new color from the Gel Finish 7-in-1 Lacquer Line. I also purchased the Sparkling Eclat uh, Starfruit and Coconut set. It came with two shower gels, the body spray, and the lotion. And this was whole set was $9.99. And uh, the gel finish polish was on sale for $4.99, if you remember. And I don't even know what this smells like, you guys. And here I have this whole set. <laughs> it might smell nasty, and I don't like it. So let me just... Okay, you guys, let's just see. I hope I like it. Because I have a lot of it. I like it, you guys. I like it. It's very... Like, I want to spray it everywhere. It's very, um, it almost makes you feel like you're in the islands. Like, you just want to... I'm sorry, you guys. It smells so good. You know, like, there's some going to be some drums playing, and then, I don't know, Calypso music. I don't know. It just, it smells really, really, really good. And then this is the body lotion, which is going to be all sealed up, and I'm not going to even bother with it, but... Do I recommend? I recommend. It's light. It smells like a vacation, honestly, you guys. Like when you go into a hotel and it smells all fresh and the air conditioning is blowing in or they have the 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 um the patio doors open and you can smell the ocean breeze and all. I know I'm over I'm not overselling this. I'm telling you, it smells good. It smells good, and I, I mean, I layering it, you're gonna get a really nice fragrance from it. I also purchased, and I wanted to try this on on camera for you guys. So hold on a quick second, I'm going to go um, wipe my current lip gloss off so that I can try this on for you so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the Avon True Color Lip Balm in the color Plum Passion, and this is what it looks like, and I'm just going to put some on my lip. <laughs> Do you ever try to talk and put your lipstick on at the same time and sound like that? You can't really see it on camera. Let's see if I can. That's what it looks like on my hand, just one swipe, and I think it might be buildable. Yeah, it's a little bit of a buildable um, color. And this is what it looks like on. So it's, it's not super, super dark. And you can see all up my nose. It's not super dark, but it gives you a nice color. Plum, plum passion. And it says it's light to medium coverage, so it's not intended to be, um, it's not intended to be a full color um, lipstick. It is a lip balm, and it's very moisturizing. So I will tell you that much, it's super moisturizing. And then I, I love Big and Daring. This mascara is my favorite. I tried, can't remember what the one was in the silver um, packaging. I didn't like it that much. Some other representatives liked it, but for me, I like this one. I like, it goes on thicker and it almost, it's called big and daring. It almost looks like false eyelashes to me, as close as I'm ever gonna get to false eyelashes. So that is the big and daring mascara, and that is in the blackest black, and I, I really like that. And then, okay, you guys, I'm not gonna buy any more candles for a while after this one, because I now have, I now feel like I'm in a good place because I now have a backup. Now before, I was feeling all insecure because like I said, I didn't have a backup. And so if I had burned the candle out, then what was I going to burn? So now I have a couple backups. And this one is the Creamy Coconut. I'm still working on the Sparkling Lemonade. It's, I'm still burning it. It's almost at the end of its life. And now I have that Honeysuckle 
um, to burn. Then creamy coconut. And you guys, it smells so good. Between this and this, I don't even need a vacation, you guys. I'm so serious. This smells so good and that smells so good. Um, I am absolutely in love. I love this. It smells like cocoa butter, but sweet. I think I read the description in the other video, so that's that. And then the last thing, the last um, item is, sorry, the Mark Jacket Required Earrings. And it's all packaged up and marked. And I don't know why it's always so hard for me to get these boxes open. It's like I have to pry them open. I don't need pliers or something. And I, again, I always love the way Mark's products are packaged. So you open up the box. And, of course, like I said, I got these out the outlet, you guys, because I am a cheapskate. And look how pretty they are. So these... I'm going to try them on so you can see what they look like because I know it was hard for me to describe the concept behind these, but I was intrigued by them from the very beginning. I almost purchased them when I was able to get the discount in what's new, but sometimes I'm just kind of on the fence about something, so I don't. But um, if, if it sticks around long enough where it's in the mag where it's in the outlet catalog and I can purchase it again at a discount, then I usually go for it at that time. So this is the earring. And so as you can see, I don't think you need to see the back. This is the front part of the earring. There's that. And then this is the second part of the earring that goes behind, behind your ear. So you do this. And then you see how you have these holes then those go in to the post and then you put your back on to secure it and you have that kind of a look going on. Is that not so stinking cute? Like look at that. So your earring is in the front and then you've got that pretty little detailing in the back. So um, I'm always about, you know, finding something new and different and fun, and Mark never disappoints um, when it comes to that. They're always really on trend and finding um, some really cool ideas that I'm sure are designer-inspired and bringing them to us uh, at a reasonable price. Obviously, I didn't secure that one on as well as I did the other one because it fell right off. And so there it is on the other side. So I love these. I love them. And if I didn't, you know, if I don't like something, things like earrings and stuff always make for good gifts for people. So, um, you know, if you ever purchase something like that, you can always return stuff from, to Avon. But also, you know, if you don't care for it, you might know someone else who does and package so cute as cute as Mark products are packaged, you know, why not use it as a gift? So 31, just gonna flow right into 31 really quickly. I was gonna make it a separate video, but since I don't have much from Avon this week, I thought, well, why not just throw 31 on with it? I met a representative at um, a luncheon at my church a few weeks ago, and she was featuring the, the products from 31. And I thought, well, let me take a look at this stuff. So what I bought is the Utility Tote and White Poppy and the Medium Utility Tote and White Poppy. And what these are is these are those totes that you see people have in the backs of their cars or um, like they use at the grocery store, those sorts of things. And um, 31 seems to be like they seem to be expanding their brand quite a bit because now they have pillows and aprons and things are monogrammed and stuff. And I just thought, well, I could really use some more organization in the trunk of my car. It's kind of, it's empty, but like when you bring your grocery bags out to the car and, um, and you, you know, you want to set them in the, in the trunk and then they're falling all over the place. 
my old Jetta, I used to have a, a, a older Jetta, I think it was like a 2008, and it had some mesh bag, mesh pockets in the back, but this, my new car doesn't have that. So I just felt like this thing, put that in the trunk of my car, and I can put my grocery bags in it. And then this, the representative suggested that, you know, you could take this into the store with you, put it in your uh, basket. No, no, I just broke my nail for, I don't know how that happened. Put it in your, um, in your grocery cart and you can just put all of your groceries in here and then it's ready to go. Or, you know, they can pack your groceries into it as they're scanning and ringing them up. So that's like, that was the first bag I purchased. And then I also, I think that's the large. And then I also got the medium because I thought maybe I could put some other things in a medium sized tote. Either I could also put it in the trunk of my car or I could use it for other organization within the house. And I really like this white poppy print. They were on sale. I can't remember the prices of them. And it's not listed on here. But go to their website, 31. It's just called 31. And my representative's name was Seneca, S-E-N-E-C-A Hill. And she was really helpful. So if you have an opportunity to choose a rep, pick her. So that was my haul from 31 and also my haul from Avon. Support your um, local Avon representative. Support other women who are... Um, who have businesses who um, are are really working hard to um, grow their business and empower themselves uh, financially. I just it's a good thing. It feels good when you support local businesses and people that you know, and they're blessed, and you're blessed with great products. And you know, we just share the love when we can. So stay tuned, stay positive, stay on budget. And if you have any questions about any of the things that I've purchased, including the 31 products, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. So be sure to subscribe and like this video, and I will catch you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.